Hi, I'm Pyle, Product Marketing Manager for Android and Google Play. Today, I'll walk you through some important policy changes designed to help keep Google Play a safe and trusted platform, where developers can build thriving businesses and users can enjoy apps with confidence. We'll also be going over some recent policy updates, clarifications, and key dates on the horizon. For our policy updates, we'll be covering child endangerment, health content and services, permissions and APIs, and deceptive behavior. Our first discussion is about our new child safety standards policy under our existing child endangerment policy. We want to make sure that apps on Google Play take appropriate action in response to child sexual abuse materials. As such, social and dating apps must first have published standards, your app must explicitly prohibit child sexual abuse and exploitation in publicly accessible standards, such as your app's terms of service, community guidelines, or any other publicly available user policy documentation. Second, provide an in-app mechanism for user feedback. You must self-certify that you provide a mechanism within your app for users to submit feedback, concerns, or reports in your app. Third, address CSAM. You must self-certify that your app takes appropriate action, including, but not limited to, removing CSAM after obtaining actual knowledge of it in accordance with your published standards and relevant laws. Fourth, comply with child safety laws. You must self-certify that your app complies with applicable child safety laws and regulations, including, but not limited to, having a process in place to report confirmed CSAM to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children or your relevant regional authority. And fifth, provide a child safety point of contact. Your app must provide a designated point of contact to receive potential notifications from Google Play about CSAE content found in your app or on your platform. This representative must be positioned to speak to your enforcement and review procedures and to take action if required. Learn more about this new policy by visiting the link on your screen. Our second update is about our health apps policy. As a follow-up to the previous announcement last October 2023, we have included a console declaration as an additional requirement. In addition to the category selection in Play Console, you must comply with the relevant requirements for your category if your app qualifies for one of the designations outlined in the policy. For Health Connect, we have updated the policy to align it with the Health Apps policy, and we are replacing the existing form-based application with the new Play Console declaration. You can read the Health App specific requirements in our Help Center by visiting the link or scanning the QR code. Next up, Google Play is continuously encouraging developers to proactively implement alternative security or fraud prevention solutions that do not rely on the Query All Packages permission. You can review this update by visiting the link or scanning the QR code. Next is the update on manipulated media under the deceptive behavior policy. We already have an existing guideline where we don't allow apps that promote or help create false or misleading information or claims conveyed through imagery, videos, and or text, and have now included audio to cover a wider scope to prevent deception. We are clarifying our personal loans policy to prohibit accessory loan apps, such as loan calculators, loan guides, and others from accessing sensitive data, such as photos and contacts. You can review the policy in full in our policy center. We're also clarifying that spyware is a malicious application, code, or behavior that collects, exfiltrates, or shares user or device data that is not related to policy-compliant functionality. Spyware violations include recording audio or recording calls made to the phone, stealing app data, or an app with malicious third-party code that exfiltrates data without adequate user notice or consent. You can visit our policy center to learn more about this policy. And finally, let's take a look at some upcoming deadlines. For policies that may take developers more time to comply with, we've been mindful to give you more advance notice. For a full list of recent policy updates, please visit the link on your screen. We encourage you to review these updates carefully in case any of them affect your apps. I hope this helped you understand our recent policy updates. To learn more, visit Google Play Academy for free courses on all things Google Play. From understanding our deceptive behaviors policy to running effective price experiments for in-app products. 
Thanks for watching and for helping us make Google Play a safe and trustworthy platform for everyone.